Daddy? Yes, James. I want to ask you a question. In okay. Exodus 20, verse 5, Moses said that God punished children for the sins of their forefathers. Is it true? <laughs> Question, ma. Yeah, I love the way you are asking me a question because that will make you grow. You know, mm. asking a question, your father or anybody a question, it makes you grow. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You know, the last, the last, uh, the last uh, topic we add. I told you that there are many things in the Bible that needs to be carefully separated from God. Because just for example, what Moses just said in Exodus mm -hmm. is contradicting the character of God in Christ. You understand? That what Moses said that God punish children for the sins that their forefathers committed, not even them. For example, you drink water, or I drink water as your father, mm -hmm. and the water is being found in your lips. That is injustice. Yes. Or, for example, you ate, you ate a uh, uh, beans, egg, and drank uh, milk. Mm -hmm. You were the one that's supposed to be purging, not me. Yes. Okay. Now, you had an injury in your leg or on your leg. The injury is supposed to be treated on your leg. True of us. True. So how can <coughs> I sin and you that is not aware of whatsoever must have transpired that lure me into that sin will now be receiving the punishment if you have such a god you will you will be ashamed of that god even politicians politicians even worldly people it for me as your father. I cannot because you wrong me. Then I will, I will, I will, I will lay or I will transfer the same, the, the the punishment that I supposed to punish you as a father. Then I will now be punishing your children also, even when you are not there. It's not that that person is not worthy to be a father. Okay. Yes, I know that is Exodus. Exodus. Moses said. God visit the iniquity of the father upon the children from the, from the first generation to the third generation. That is what Moses said. But before we, uh, we answer that question, I want to answer it biblically. Because when you look at what as uh, Jeremiah said concerning this same word is different from what Moses said. And when you look at what Ezekiel said, it contradicts what Moses said. So that is the reason I told you for our first series that for you to know God, you have to look at Christ. That it is only in Christ that you can find the true identity of God. It's only in Christ that you can find the true character of God. Okay? okay. It's not possible that, that I still, I went to rob, to rob, kill somebody, destroy people, and you were not there. Probably you might not, you, you, you were not born when those things happen. Then me as a father, I'm gone. Then you as a son will be receiving the punishment. It doesn't make sense. No. 
Okay, now, let me show you what uh, Ezekiel said. Let me show you what Ezekiel said. Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel, let me, let me go to Jeremiah first. Jeremiah, so we can get it very clear. Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah 31, verse 29. Okay, let me just read from him. Um, from 28. Listen, he said, And it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to bring down and to throw down and to destroy and to affect and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build and to plant them, says the Lord. In those days, they shall say no more. They shall say no more that the father have eaten a salt grape and the children teeth are set on edge. But everyone does that, everyone shall die for their whole sin, for their whole iniquity. That is, if I sin, I am the one that have to receive the punishment. It's not my children. Okay, now let's go to Ezekiel. You see, you, you understand that place now? Yes. Okay, now let's go to Ezekiel, which is Moses, uh, Jeremiah. Is contradicting what Moses said. Now let's go to es uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel 18. Look at what Ezekiel said. You will love this. Now, from chapter verse 1, he said, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, What means ye? That is, what do you mean? That's that ye use this proverb concerning the land of Israel, that you are using this kind of word concerning Israel, saying, A father have eaten sour grapes, and their children's teeth are set on edge. You understand? Ezekiel is saying that this is what the Lord revealed to him that who is using this parable? In the land of Israel, that a father sin and the children are receiving the punishment. You understand? Okay, now look at God 1. Now, verse 3. Ezekiel said, As I live, said the Lord God, ye shall not have, ye shall not have any occasion. You don't have any reason whatsoever to use this word in the land of Israel. Have no occasion anymore to use this word in Israel. Look at verse 4. He said, Behold, all souls are mine. I created everybody. I, God, created everybody. Your soul, every soul belongs to God. Not to the father. Okay, now look at it. He said, So as the soul of the son, so the soul of the father, you and your children, their souls belongs to me. Okay? Okay. He said, look at it. He said, He said, the soul that sin it, the soul that sin it, it shall die. Okay? okay, that is when the Bible says, Thou shalt not kill, it's not because of God. Okay, it's because of you. Because when you kill, you know the law of the government. Because God is not the one govern, governing the earth, God is not the one. There is a law in government that says, When you kill, it's either you go to prison. Or you will be killed the same way you kill the person or by hanging, yeah. but according to as the judge have decided. Yeah. Okay? okay? So it's not God that is punishing them, they are the one punishing themselves by what they did with their own hand. 
Okay? So, the, the, Moses, uh, the Ezekiel condemned that act that is not possible for a father to sin and the children will be receiving the punishment. So, the people that do that are politicians. The people that do that are wicked people. They are wicked people. How are they wicked? Because even some politicians, for example, like Buhari, the wicked uh, president in Nigeria, we had today. Okay, for example, Buhari is no more. And one of his son or his daughter uh, uh, wanted want to become a, a governor or is asking for one office in Nigeria. And where, where Buhari has already offended a lot of people, he has maltreated people. You understand? So it is possible that the people that, uh, that Buhari's son will meet in office will reject or refuse that boy because of what his father did. It's not God. Are you hearing me? Yes. Maybe uh, somebody you ask, you ask, uh, you, you, you ask something from me, you ask a help from somebody, and the person could not give you the, 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 what you ask from him. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. So, maybe tomorrow, you or your children may be richer than the same people, and they come to you to ask. So, when that person is a wicked person, he will refuse you because why? When your father had, he did not give to us. Those are worldly people that do that, wicked people. So people can say, I cannot because of what your father did to me to punish you or to wicked you. Don't worry, I will give you the office. Men, ordinary men can still resist that. Then you have, you have such wisdom or mind to put that kind of character in God is bad. Anyone that sin receive the punishment of the sin which he had committed. You understand? So this is how you see when you hear pastor talking about uh, uh, ancestral covenant, ancestral power, uh, ancestral background. So this is where they got it from. That what your father, the hold your father took, your great grandfather took when you were not yet born can affect you. No, no, no. You understand me? So God did not punish another person for another person's sin. God will not punish me for your sin. God will not punish you for my sin. I am the one that sin. I am the one to receive the punishment. Okay? okay? It's a very clear matter. Ezekiel said, for no reason, let this proverb not be used in the land of Israel. For all souls are mine. Every soul that sinned, it shall die. You cannot eat what, drink water, and my um, eye will be, be, be receiving the pain or a uh, purging. It's not possible. It's not possible. Okay? Is it clear? Yes. You have another question? No. So don't put, don't, don't, don't give God that kind of character. When people, that is why I always took time to teach you about these things. Okay? Because there are, there, there's a, there are a lot of things that that the Bible have, uh, the prophet or the whole testament have written against God, contradicting the character of God, is very bad. Okay? So God is good and is kind to everybody. God is a just God. God is a righteous God. In God, there is no darkness. All is light. And everything about God is straight, not corner, corner. Okay? okay? How many times have I punished you because Mirabel did something? Is it possible? No. So, clear that hair. It's very bad. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm.